Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another video. So in this video, I want to talk about how I think ChatGPT kind of makes OpenAI a major player in what I'm going to call the next generation of search, Search 2.0. That's what I'm calling it. I mean, if you remember back in 1997, if you're old enough to be from there, uh, before Google, I think Google's like 98, there used to be this thing called Ask Jeeves, later became Ask.com. And the idea was that it could kind of respond in natural language or... That was what they hoped, I guess. I don't know if they had any pre-canned answers or whatever the plan was. But basically, it never came to fruition until essentially 25 years later, where we are right now, where I think ChatGPT is essentially what Ask Jeeves was, was wanted to be, what Google wants to be, and probably what the future of search is. Like This is the next generation, basically. It's, it's, we're no longer asking for links. We're asking for the answers. And it can just give us the answers, basically. Um, if you don't know about ChatGPT, it's, uh, it's the newest language model. It'll tell you that. loves telling you that from OpenAI. And we're going to kind of run it through its paces. Before I get to that, I wanted to talk to you just to kind of give Google a little bit of defense here. Is they've kind of known about this for a long time. Uh, and they've got something here called Lambda. They've had This is a, an article about it from 2021 in May. And basically, they've been working on it for a while. But they have this concept here, this responsibility first. So they... They've been uh, kind of scrutinizing it a lot, and they don't want to put their name out there and say, Google, the Google bot says this, you know, this is how you cure this, or this is how you do that, and have it be wrong. Uh, that's something that ChatGPT and OpenAI has been a little more okay about. I mean, they've kind of slapped some warnings on it, but their name's a bit new, so they're not worried about kind of giving out bad answers after having set, like 20 years of giving out good answers. Like, we barely know anything from them, so this is kind of early days for them, so they're they're a little bit more free with it, whereas Google's kind of being more uh, like tight about it. But what we're going to do here, we want to run it. I want to run it through its paces. I kind of looked up different searches that people do, and I, I want to do the the who, the what, the where, the when, the why. And if we have time, we'll do the how. We'll see. Uh, but let's just let's just kind of do back to back and let's just give it a shot. So let's just try ChatGPT. I should also note we're on the December 15th version, which things have changed, but hopefully for the for the better. So the first question was, who let the dogs out? This seems reasonable enough. So who let the dogs out? So ChatGPT knows this. It's it wasn't there. I didn't witness it, but it knows about the song, the Bahama-based musical band. Uh, this is another thing. I mean, I have another video about this too, about accuracy. I'm not going to read every one of these things and criticize it, but that's something we have to be careful of, and that's that's why ChatGPT is not ready. One of the reasons. Also, it's not a product. It's not a search engine. It doesn't have ads. There's a million other reasons why it's not ready. But this is a proof of concept. This is the idea. Imagine it's imagine it's accurate. Imagine this is free for everybody, quick, works good. So let's try the same thing with Google because Google's got something called featured snippets. I mean, Google, you get the video right away, you get the lyrics, you get a lot of information, but d does it tell you who let the dog out? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if ChatGPT did specifically, but with ChatGPT, at least you could continue the conversation. Like, so was it ever clarified who let the dog out? The song which features this has been used numerous, okay. But who who was it? Well, others, okay, not, not who was written, I wanna know, okay. But who, actually let the dog out and i want to sh the reason i'm asking this too is the idea of context and follow-up these are two other things that search google search 1.0 essentially does not have so let's see if it can if it understands this the song does not refer to a specific incident or event in which the dog was let out rather it's a song in which the phrase who let the dogs out so that's pretty good now if you were to do this with google if i were to just remove this and put this it has no idea if i search that but it, it, I mean, yeah, it basically just gave the exact same result, uh, the story of. It, it's definitely not as good of an answer. And then you get these little people who asked, who let the dog out, meaning really it kind of leaves it up to you to kind of figure it out. Whereas this is very straightforward. I mean, is it accurate? One day it will be, I think. One day we can trust this. But until we can, I think it's, it, we got to hesitate. But this is a pretty good answer. I mean, if we assume it were accurate. Let's try another one here. Now, I was looking for a what answer, and I just happened to find popular what answers. This isn't a question I've ever asked. Sorry, questions, not answers. Uh, what are the five love languages? I didn't know there were five love languages. Uh, I'm not even versed well in, in one, but interestingly enough, ChatGPT knew what I was talking about. I tried this one. This is the one test I tried just to, before I thought, hey, you know, I could, let's do who, what, where, when, why. So this one here, it still does pretty good. It seems to be pretty similar to the answer it gave me last time. It doesn't always give the same answer. That's another thing. Google is always going to give you this basically the same answer. I mean, they're always tweaking the results. But if you search and then you search five minutes later, it's not going to rephrase the answers typically. 
Uh, I mean, I guess it could sort the results or there could be an adjustment there, but not the same as this where it almost is like it could be like a different person said it almost or or like if you were to ask me again, I'm not going to say something exactly the same way because I didn't read it from a script. That's essentially how ChatGPT answers. And in this case, it did. It says it's a concept developed by Gary Chapman and it's got a list of them here. And I remember I searched this with Google and it gave me them. So you see there's the same list here. Words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation quality time. I'm not sure if the order is correct here, if it matters. But the interesting thing is here is you get this little extra bit. Plus you get this other information. If I were to just be looking at the Google one here, I mean, this is the, about a book. Even this information, it looks like it got from some other link. So it's, it's passed the trust along to healthline.com in this case. And again, it's not easy. I mean, if you go here, none of them are, are, are anywhere as succinct of an answer as we're getting from ChatGPT. So that's a who and a what. Let's do a where now. We got a where. Uh, where can I find happiness? This is, I mean, I don't know if this is sad or cool, but this seemed to be one of the top searches. Again, I found these who, what, where's from a, a list of them. Let's see. I, I'm, I'd be, it's going to be interesting to see what ChatGPT will say. But at the same time, Google always gives the same answer in that it's just a bunch of links. So really, at least you get the interest. Not only do you get the context, you get the discussion. But there's almost a little bit of interest and surprise as to what ChatGPT will tell you. Whereas Google, I haven't been surprised by Google in like a decade, basically, as far as search goes. Other than being surprised by like, why are there so many ads? Like, how can the first screen be all ad links? That surprises me. Okay, happiness is subjective, personal experience, focus on the present moment. I mean, honestly, that's a, that's a pretty good first advice. I used to give people that kind of advice. Um, Practice gratitude. These are it's decent advice. I mean, if we're to search with Google again, we're gonna get the, the results you expect of how to find happiness. Happiness uh, close to me. Oh, that's interesting. I guess yeah. There's some happiness in British Columbia, I suppose. Ten simple ways to find happiness. Google doesn't even have a featured snippet. They don't even want to offer an opinion. At least ChatGPT is gonna offer an opinion here. And and again, the beauty of it, the follow up is, is you could go into this. So let's say here the focus on the present moment. Uh, I mean I. We, we're going to have to rethink how we search. Like, not only do I not have to type, I don't have to go, tell me about focusing on the present moment. I could just say, tell me about the thing that we're talking about. So I could say, tell me more about the first one. It knows what I'm talking about. The first one was focusing on the present moment. And there we go. And it goes into it. And again, I don't have to insult Google by copying this. And I mean, it, it didn't even give me a first one. So this is, I have no relevance. But it even no matter what result Google gives me, there's no way for me to ask a follow-up question with the search engine, essentially, other than to find information, rephrase a question, search again, start new, and, and I have to narrow it down with this very difficult way. Whereas here, I'm, now I'm getting useful advice for the first thing that you suggested, which was focusing on the present moment, and I get a bunch of things here, and then I could kind of bounce into these. I, could, I don't have to say, tell me about the second or the third. There's no special keywords with this thing. You just talk to it like a person. Like, I could halfway through here just have an idea like writing, engaging. I could say, oh yeah, you know, engaging in writing is really cool. What kind of writing do you suggest? And it just goes off on that. I don't have to go for number two. Can you elaborate on the, you know, you don't have to play that game anymore that we've been playing with search for decades. Um, that one, what was that question? That was a where. We got a when here. This is a simple one here. This is the something, this is another interesting thing I noticed. This is a, a, a lacking of chat GPT is a lot of the results where people asking very practical questions. What time is it? Uh, the weather, that kind of thing. ChatGPT is not hooked up to the internet right now, so it can't answer that kind of stuff. But obviously, that will be trivial for it to answer those kind of questions in the future. For now, I said, when is Mother's Day? That's not something it needs the internet for. So I figured it could answer it okay. Mother's Day is a holiday celebrated on the second Sunday in May in the United States. Great. And hopefully, Google, this is the kind of thing Google's great at. So there you go, Sunday. But again, actually, this result, if I were to just look at this, I don't know that it's always, I don't know it's the second Sunday in May. That's the tradition, basically. But Google doesn't really tell me that. I mean, if I look for the word second on here, uh, yeah, it's like one, it's the fifth or sixth result where it even mentions that it's the second Sunday. And this first one's cut off, so I don't even know it's the second Sunday in May. Pretty bad results, honestly, compared to what we're getting here. Uh, and, and this is just a much more readable answer. So... That that would be really good for me, and it and it does it no it knew May 9th, and which was correct. No, see in this case for next year is the next Mother's Day. This is where it's not as good. This is where it doesn't do an exact date. It doesn't do exacts right now. It's 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 having a conversation, so it's telling you its information about Mother's Day. Here it goes this year, 
Oh, that's actually, this is where it's inaccurate, I guess, perhaps. Or was that 2022? Let's check here. Was it on uh, May 8th? Yeah, so it's still talking about this year, but that already passed. Oh, no, even then it said May 8th. So is it is it even then wrong? It was May 9th? This is where you got to dive into the inaccuracies. This is where it's not ready to replace Google. But the answer was better. It was wrong. But I liked the way it gave it to me. On that note, let's ask it a why question. Why is the sky blue? Uh, I, I often f forget this answer um, just because it's not... It's not a fun answer. It's not like, oh, well, water's blue. I don't think it is. That's not the answer. The sky appears blue in the human eye because of the scattering of sunlight by the atmosphere. When the sunlight reaches... Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I didn't forget this, but I don't always have this in, just in the back of my brain ready to shoot out. I start to, to not trust this thing, though. I mean, that's the, that's the thing that scares me right now about it, is like when it starts telling me that, oh, this phenomenon is this, it's like, sure it is. Okay, we'll see. Let's let's do this here and see. Like we have to kind of okay. It is called Rayleigh scattering, um, so it's correct in this case. But we're not at the point I think where we can trust it uh, with a lot of these answers. Whereas Google, I mean, I guess that's always been the problem with Google too. Like that's where you got to be good at Googling to know what to trust. I mean, these results here, like okay, I look at this and I see that's a NASA result. That's probably pretty good. The top results, Google usually does some work to make sure those are okay. That's not the kind of work that's being done here, obviously, at this point. Um, so, so yeah, I think you still got to check your sources. And then we have time for a how. Let's just throw out a quick how. How do you take a screenshot on a Mac? Apparently, that was the most popular how question. Google just shoots you to Apple, uh, which I'm hoping this answer that it gives you is pretty similar. Press Command-Shift-3. Is that the correct thing? Command-Shift-3 to take a screenshot. Command-Shift-4 to capture the screen. I mean, th there you go. That's really great. Like Google didn't even give you a featured snippet there. I mean, it obviously gave you the a great result, the best source from Apple. But if you just wanted, if you were just ready to press buttons, I feel like this is a better result once again. So I think that, that kind of shows you right there the who, what, where, when, and why of why ChatGPT uh, is going to be better than Google in the future. At least these language models, these are the future. Search 1.0 is having to find it yourself. Search 2.0 is this. And this is coming a decade from now. I think everyone's going to be using this or, or sooner. But hey, a decade, that's a long time. So uh, yeah, that's a food for thought. Thanks, uh, thanks for checking out this video. If you like it, please throw me a like. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, you want to motivate me, please subscribe. And thanks for checking it out. See you in the next one. Bye.